they have removed all the food from the shelves. And um, uh, Bonnie Tech was in and built new shelves today. So if anybody has a little free time and they don't mind grabbing hold of a paintbrush, I'm sure that they would appreciate some volunteers to help paint. When's that? Tomorrow and Friday. So they can get the food pantry back together. Um, is there anything else? Should we make a motion to uh, dedicate the town report to Charlie? Sure, yeah. do, you, do, you, do you want to do that now? Sure, I do. So, I would make a motion that we um, dedicate the um, annual town to report to Charlie Perkins and Mark Casper. That was second. Yes. Doug? Yes. Diane? Yes. And I will yes. Yeah. Um, if there is nothing else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Uh, second? Second. Uh, I just got something yeah. to say. Oh, yes, sure, yes. If it all about Back Bay project, to see, fix up all the roads. Back Bay had to be done. The federal government came in there and told them they got to be done because the fault water was in, going into the Midlands River and you had it. It did all the river and you had to do that. You know that, Julie. You lived out back. You should remember that. <laughs> well, Jesus, so what's the name was on at the time? Uh, Stormwater Management guy up there from Brooks Village, and they said they had to come in. All the elk falls and stuff that are pointed about on the river. They had to do all them roads and drainage and stuff. That was part of getting the grants. Come on, check back on the machines. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. That's the reason now why they're doing have to do Memorial Street now. They still have a couple of falls there. Right. Right. So that should be explained to this young lady that's coming here asking these questions all the time. And when they first started the surveys for Back Bay, the light company went around passing out flyers in the houses, begging people that came to my mother's home and banged on the door. <coughs> I'm going to do this and well, vote for this and stuff, you know? And I raised hell at that time. You know, you don't go and post it on older people and stuff. You've got to do this and stuff. They wanted that done. Well. I that's mean, you got to remember that thing. I, I understand, and that's part of well, why I was getting a lot of flack because things. I didn't go door to door in Back Bay. A lot of them did. I could you not. You couldn't do it because you were on. But right. what that's happened on Memorial Street? Interest. What happened on Memorial Street? What I did I say here one day? Yeah. You know, right. So we have to be very careful as a board what we say we're going to do and what we're going to do because we can't go knocking on doors, ask, you know, filling out surveys because that puts you in a conflict of interest and that's a 10,000 fine for ethics and I am I'm not doing that. Right. Yeah. I mean I'm glad to see Julie is you know passionate about the CDGB and wants to get it into East Templeton. I mean it's I it's certainly an would thing. never ask Julie Farrell to knock on the door. Okay well that's, uh, no, that's enough for that. Okay. You know, it's um, you know as a community, we need to, to try and get the surveys returned. Right. I mean, it's really CDGB and Mike Pinkpank's, you know, process. So he's the one that needs to control right. the process, not us. Right. Um, but we need to lend as much support and, you know, try to encourage the community that, that it's a positive for them. Right. And to get, you know, just to have the information available. Yeah. So yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Okay, uh, we can vote on our adjournment. Yes. 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 Julie, Doug. Yes. <laughs> Yes. And yes.